Hey guys, so this is my second Pillow Talk video. Welcome back. <laughs> so something, a topic that I want to talk about now is my long distance relationship since I feel that that is the most, probably the most interesting tea to talk about now. I hear so many people in the long distance relationships or that have been in them in the past and either it didn't work out or they feel like it did work out, it was worth it. So I just wanted to go ahead and talk about this topic that, you know, we all hate those that are in it right now. We all hate this topic, but I'm going to possibly share some of my insight and hopefully that it can help others that are dealing with the same thing or hopefully it can um, enlighten those that, you know, completely are against it and maybe you could work something out with that person that's a thousand miles away or how many other miles they are away from you so here we go okay so let me just start with how I met my boyfriend so if you watched my last pillow talk you know we met in New York uh, but not through normal circumstances guys so we met on tinder and I know that that is not the typical, but for some reason, like, it seems like it was meant to be. I don't know, really corny, cliche, whatever. But, uh, yeah, he's, like, amazing. But it always hasn't always been that way. But he would be so proud that I'm telling you guys how we met for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. But for, the mo but for some reason, I don't know, I guess. It was hard for me to share that because of, of all the stereotypes of that app, you know, people think one thing, like, oh, it was a hookup, blah, blah, blah. It was never even the case. Like, uh, I never was a hookup to him or him to me. It was never like that, even though, y'all, in the beginning, I feel like that's what he probably wanted it to be, low-key, but I was not with that shit. Oh, <laughs> sorry for the language, y'all. I was not with that, so, um yeah that just wasn't happening so I kind of let him know like you know let's just be friends like hang out you know that's all I really wanted to do I guess you know he was cute hang out you know we go hang out places you know we chill stuff like that I felt like that was something that I wanted at the time I didn't really want a boyfriend but still someone to spend time with you know you get what I'm saying y'all y'all know what I mean but uh yeah so that's how we met we hung out for we were friends for over close to a year but I think I started catching feelings like maybe like six months in you know spending time with someone so much you kind of start to like certain things about them or certain you know you just start to like them you know you around them a lot and talk to them all day and stuff like that and don't get me wrong like things were not perfect all those the whole year like you know I'm not gonna say my boyfriend was a fuck boy. He did stupid stuff, you know, every now and then, and I would have to still put him in his place. But, you know, I guess every girl, we kind of like a bad boy sometimes, or we like someone we can, like, be like, oh, you know, he's not that bad. He's rough around the edges, but, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, you kind of like stuff, you kind of like that about the person. So, um, uh, long story short, uh, I kind of started to really like like him like 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 him a lot of not a lot a lot of. so I was telling him you know hey what are we you know what is this because I'm starting to like you and I need us to you know figure this out if you're gonna make me your girlfriend am I gonna you gonna be my boyfriend because if not bruh, I'm getting the bags <laughs> Like, I literally had to let him know because uh, we were going on for so long. And I felt like that time, even the time between me not liking him, I still, that still was time to me. And I felt like that was still time we spent together. So I felt like, yeah, I've known you for over a year. You know, what's going on? So he kind of just gave me this whole little spin rundown thing, y'all. <laughs> he tried it. <laughs> he was literally like, yeah, you know. Uh, I gotta work some things out before I get in a relationship. Y'all know how it be. I gotta work some things out. I gotta figure out 
uh, what I'm doing, blah, 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 before I settle into a relationship. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give you your time. You know, let me know when you're ready. I'm going to be, you know, he was like, yeah, just give me like two weeks and like I'll give you some time. So I was like, all right, you know, because I gave him an ultimatum. So, you know, I wanted to give him time to think. Y'all, that two weeks came and I hit him up. He was not expecting me to hit him up. I was like, so like, what are we doing? Like, we still messing around, we still messing around playing this game. Like, I'm not about to play this game anymore. And like, he was just like, yeah, she's catching me up. Like, <laughs> so he, long story short, uh, he ended up making me his girlfriend. We ended up falling in love with each other. And here we are now today, 2018. We met in 2016. Or was it 2000? Yeah, it was 2016. We met in 2016 and we are 2018, almost 2019. And we are still going strong, y'all. Going strong. And he's like the sweetest to me. Like, he treats me like a whole queen. Like, if I ask him for anything, for support, you know, he's always there for me. He's been there for me 100,000% through my whole process of um, my career, like me wanting to move to LA from New York, even though, you know, that was somewhere where we created our foundation for our relationship. And, um, yeah, he's really like been there for me. I've seen him grow so much. He's seen me grow so much. And, um, here we are today in this long distance relationship. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. It's really hard. You know, it's, it's hard because you have these feelings for this person and you can't physically be around them or physically see them so that just kind of makes like an emotional confusion with yourself because you, you've been around this person for almost every day i literally was with my boyfriend every day since i met him <laughs> and now i'm not with him every day and it's kind of yeah it sounds sad it is sad i'm not gonna lie it's sad long distance relationships are sad i don't care what anyone says it's literally heartbreaking not being with the person that you love but the thing that makes it all worth it is when you know that the relationship that you're the person that you're with it has to be worth it like if you feel like if you feel like that person isn't worth the risk of the emotional heartache the you know emotional strain and all the hardship and the missing them and how hard it can be then don't do it I wouldn't recommend it because once you start getting into it the first few weeks yeah that's fine that's cute <laughs> then once it gets into a few months you know you start to really really feel it like I've been away from him for like four months now and uh, yeah we visit each other here and there you know that happens but we all know that can get expensive too at the same time you know especially because new york and los angeles those tickets aren't you know easy to come by for all of us so you know we we visit each other when we can but for the most part um one thing that helps us the most we've started this thing where we do our facetime and we watch our favorite tv shows together and it's super cute and like I'll have my glass of wine and like my dinner and he'll have his dinner so it's kind of like we'll have a date night in a way with each other like what we used to do traditionally when we were in New York we would always um, have something to drink like glass of wine or Angry Orchard and we watch like Game of Thrones or whatever shows we would binge like watch together and uh, now it, it kind of is comforting to go back into that habit with each other it kind of makes it feel like you know oh, okay well you know we're do we're sharing this similar thing so you kind of feel at peace with it um the hardest thing for me is when there's moments that remind me of him that make it like oh dang i wish he was here for this like if i get a major accomplishment or um you know sometimes when you're by yourself like laying down you're like oh i miss them like i wish he was here to cuddle me mm, like you know those times but overall, you know, I'm here in L.A. for a goal and he understands that I'm here um, trying to build something for myself. And also he's working to move here himself. And one thing I told him was, you know, don't rush it like I did because that was me, you know, personally. I would not ever put that on anyone. I literally jumped the gun and just ran here when I seen the opportunity. 
And that's not always the case for everyone. Everyone doesn't always, you know, bounce back from that or, you know, have such an easy time with it, which I didn't have an easy time, but I would never want to put that strain on him just to be here with me. And he also has his own career and his own stuff, so he's got to really plan it out. But at the same time, you know, we all on a ticking time <laughs> because we don't want to, you know, be without Bay for so long. But I just wanted him to know that I understood that, you know, it's going to be a process to move here. So his deadline, he wants to be here by early 2019, like January, February-ish, March, whatever, so on, so on. So he, that's when he wants to be here. So I'm literally just waiting it out. I'm going to visit for the holidays. Um, yeah, we just, you just got to work it out. Try to visit as often as you can. Um, try to do little cute stuff here and there. Like as much cute stuff you can do, the better. Like texting, the one thing that helps me the most is like when I get that morning text from him and he's telling me how much he loves me and how beautiful I am and like all this like, you know, nice cute cutesy stuff with the emojis. <laughs> and I wake up to it and I'm like, oh, like I feel all nice and warm inside. And like, uh, of course I miss him, but you know, we got to grind hard. You know, that's the sacrifice that we got to make um, when we really want to make it work. Like I, one thing I remind myself is that um, when you get in a serious relationship, you realize that you're not just building for yourself, you're building for your future together with this person. So I'm willing to make this sacrifice of my long distance with him because I see a future with him and um, he, he sees the same with me. So he's building himself up as well and we're doing it together as a team. And um, I think some people that have a hard time with the long distance relationship, they don't see that future with that person because in other, and if it were the other way around, if you saw your a future with this person, you would make it work and you would go through the hard times and, you know, you got to really remind yourself, like, you really love this person and you want to be with this person and you, if you really, really love someone, you know that there's no one else out there better than that person, you know, especially if they treat you good and there's nothing wrong with it. If it's not, if it's not a toxic relationship. You know, if it's a nice, healthy relationship, you know that you you should stay with this person because out there, it's nothing but you know. You you know it's nothing. It's really nothing out there. You're gonna be starting all over again. You know, trying to build with somebody that just wants to you know, wants a quick you know wants a little quickie and might might text you in the morning, might not, you know so. Uh, yeah, but if it's a toxic relationship, leave it, girl. Leave that relationship. Do not even be willing to sacrifice nothing. Don't even sacrifice the phone call. Don't even pick up your phone for that person because it's not worth it. That time is so valuable. Um, but yeah, those are just some things that really helped me with my long distance relationship. Um, I can literally talk about this all day. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to think of anything else that I left out that I needed to say. Um, oh, the time zone. Time difference is, it matters, y'all. Three hours. We have, we're, I have three hours with my boyfriend. Three hour difference. His time is before mine. It's so hard because at night time is the only time when I'm really free and that's the only time he's, you know, by that time, at night time, he sleep. <laughs> So that's a battle struggle that we both have to deal with um, is the time zone. But you kind of just make it work. You know, sometimes he'll have to, he stays up longer so he can talk to me. And sometimes I, you know, I just try to like, you know, get, get home early, talk to him early times, you know, when I can. So you just, you just got to really be willing to make it work and compromise with each other. And, um, yeah, it's not going to be easy and it's going to, you're going to feel the pain and the missing and all that stuff. If you really, really truly care about that person, just know that it's going to be worth it when you see them and when you are with them permanently again, or when you go to visit them again, it's just, you're going to feel like he feels like you're at home again with Bay. But yeah, that's all for today, guys. This pillow talk's been real. Um, but thank you for tuning in and if you'd like to hear more just let me know I can just 
talk about long distance all day if you have, need any advice I can like share what I share whatever I experienced these past few months and thank you so much please subscribe down below like this video comments and thank you so much for tuning in see you soon bye